When um, chicks are young, they have down. They don't have, they're not fully feathered. So they can't very well maintain their own body heat. So we have to do that for them. And that's why we have a heater system inside the houses. Um, so we're gonna either run off of um, furnaces or we're gonna have brooders. And we tell that, you know, on a day one chick, we might want it to be 90 degrees in there. And as they get older, they're gonna start feathering out. At that point, you know, birds don't sweat, they pant. And that's how they get rid of that heat. So we want that air, we turn on more fans toward the back of the house. It's a tunnel ventilated house. And that air is gonna come in through the front at the cool cells and run through those feathers and over top of the birds and take that heat off of them and expel it out of the fans. The house had to be starting out at about 90 degrees floor temperature uh, for the baby birds. Uh, in the summertime, that's not hard to achieve. Most of the time, you'll be trying to cool it down from that. But in the wintertime, that's a little bit tough. Well, you're going to draw in cold air, but you know it's trying not to burn too much heat at the same time bringing in enough air. I also learned to, to, to use static pressure. Static pressure is the opening of the vents and allowing that air to come in at a height that it will go up into the center of the ceiling and mix with the warm air before it come down to where the birds are. What we have here is the main controller system. Here we have relays and these are all hooked up to a certain heater, a certain fan, um, stir fans, feed lines, you know, the cooling system we have at the front of the house. We set up a program and we tell it exactly at what age and what temperature do we want these coming on or going off and how long they're gonna stay on. 